So, what do we have here? A long strip of springy steel doing, 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 is clamped on one end so the strip is vertical. Mass of 65 grams is attached to the free end of the strip as shown. Okay, so this thing is gonna do some funny wobbly thing like that. Oh man, something like this. Okay, it's gonna wobble back and forth. But anyway, what's going on here? The mass is pulled to one side and released. Variation with T of the horizontal displacement is shown. So this is this thing. Is it damped? You look at the displacement, it starts off here, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Mm, okay, so it's it's damped, so there'll be a, some question about that. The mass undergoes simple harmonic motion. Explain what is meant by damping. You need to know the definition for this, but hang on a second. Usually they will say define damping, but here they say explain. So you need to say what is damping and why is damping. So the best answer you can say is, well, what's damping? Damping is the reduction of or loss of energy due to frictional force and things like that. But anyway, the reduction of energy, or you can say amplitude also. Amplitude gets smaller and smaller. Then why does this reduction occur? That's the explain part. So why? You must include that. Due to what's the thing called? Resistive forces or frictional forces. Resistive forces is the better term in the system. So resistive force in the system. So in this case, what would be the resistive force? I don't know. Energy lost due to deformation of the wire. Because you know, you bend it, you got some heat. I don't know. Air friction, maybe. When you're moving in air, you get some air friction. So all these are possible forces, which they will sometimes ask you in past year or so. Okay, two marks here. First one is, what is damping? So that's this part. Second one, why is damping? So this one here, you explain. Okay, now the next part is things you have to do with the graph already. First one, suggest with a reason whether your damping is light, critical or heavy. Wow, so you have to remember how the graphs look like. And you see this one, it still go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Still got a few oscillations, so it's probably light damping. But you need to describe that in words. So, what you can say for two marks, suggest with a reason. So the reason I say light. But why do I say light? I need to say the reason. There's the two marks there. So I will say light damping as my choice. And I must give a reason because... Because why? Uh, how to say? Many oscillation, uh, amplitude decrease gradually. So I'm going to say that because amplitude decreases gradually. Gradually means slowly. It's not suddenly. Suddenly the amplitude becomes zero. No, that is other kinds of damping. So amplitude decreases gradually over time. And of course also there's still oscillations, so the period is still the same. Or you could say there's many oscillations, it still go up and down, up and down a few times. Also can. But anyway, the main mark here is uh, because amplitude decreases gradually over time, this is a uh, AM1 mark gradually and A1 for light damping. So if you just say light damping, you won't get any mark because the A mark is linked to the M mark. You must get the M to get the A. Method mark mark. Part B. Use the figure to determine the frequency or vibration of the mass. Frequency is F. How to find F? Oh, F equals to 1 over period. So you need to read what is the period of the mass. It's a miss. If damping out, the period is different, right? No, 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 no. When it's damped, the period is still the same. That's why we can say, oh, from here to here is a period. I mean, you can take other parts, lah, but I'm going to say from here to here. So that's 0 0.3. Okay, so I'm going to say 0 0.3. 1 divided by 0 0.3 seconds. So that will mean my frequency is 3.3333333 hertz. It's fine. I'll just say 3.3. La. Okay, one mark. Ah, yeah, this is not AS anymore. If not, they may give two marks. Maybe. Okay. Hence show. Hence. It's an interesting word. Means somehow you have to use the answer from part 1 inside this one. Hence, show that the initial energy stored in the strip before the mass is released is approximately 3.2 millijoules. So you need to show. They already give you the answer. So you need to figure out how to find energy before the mass is released. So when you bend it, this is supposed where it's supposed to be, but you bend it and then you hold it here. So it's some potential energy stored and that is the total energy. 
which is also the kinetic energy when it's at equilibrium position. Go and review 13.2 and 13.3 if you feel like, uh, I don't remember this thing. Go and check it out again. But anyway, maximum energy or total energy is also the speed. Okay, so the speed when it is at equilibrium, so V max lah. Which is also the maximum potential energy. But we can't use Hooke's law because this is not exactly a spring. Anyway, so here, and we don't know what V max it is, but we know that the maximum velocity is related to amplitude times omega. Where did this come from? I'll go check 13.2, 13.3 again. We've learned this previously. So half m a omega squared is the total energy or maximum energy of that steel strip. Let's plug in all the values. So half m is what? Uh? What is the m? Ah, we're going to look at this bobbing mass m. 65 grams. So our 65 grams would come down here. 65 must convert to kg. So this is in kg. A is amplitude. I have to read from graph, right? <laughs> initial energy stored. So initial means at the beginning. This is 1.5 right here. Okay, we're here, ah, here. So that will be our initial energy, 1.5. Don't forget to square, yeah. 1.5, is that in cm? Yes, it's in cm. So I must convert to meter times 10, negative 2. This is in meter squared. Omega, we already found previously. So that will be 3.33 square. Hang on a second. I see an error. Omega is 2 pi f, right? So you need to multiply 2 pi frequency. 3.33. Ah, this looks more correct. Okay, press calculator. Everything, you should get about 3.2 times 10 to the negative 3 joules of energy. Is that correct? Yes, 3.2 millijoules, negative 3 milli. So where do the mass come from? Huh? First one comes from this line. Do you know what maximum, what energy equation to use? So many energy, how to use. And then do you plug in the correct values? 2 pi f and everything. Okay, and if you get everything correct, okay lah. Correct, Eddie. Okay, initial energy, total energy. C. Ooh, this is an interesting one. After 8 oscillation of the mass, the amplitude reduced from 1.5 to 1.1. Still and explain whether after a further 8 complete oscillation, the amplitude will be 0 0.7 or not. So how many oscillations are on this chart? 1, 2, only got 2 here. How we can see 8? So this, you have to draw the, you have to understand how the graph of oscillation changes. So, in the normal, in a normal damp system, your amplitude will decrease exponentially. On so something like this. Can recognize the shape of the curve. It's like an exponential curve decreasing. So that means when you draw the oscillation, it's gonna have to follow, well, same period of course, and then you have to do, like that, the amplitude will decrease exponentially. But what did they suggest? 8 oscillation from 1.5 to 1.1. So that means 1.5 to 1.1. Hmm, okay. 8 oscillations later. 8 oscillations later. 1.1 to... Will it be 0 0.7? I don't know. What is the factor here? Well, if you look carefully, oh, they are saying after 8 cycles, your amplitude will decrease by 0 0.4, I think. Yeah, decrease by 0 0.4. Then they say, oh, maybe after that it decreased by 0 0.4 again. That is what we call a linear decrease. Linear scale. So if I draw it out, it's going to look something like that. 1, 2, 3, 4. Linear scale is your straight line graph. So like that. I try to draw a straight line graph. Straight line, yeah, like that. Oh. You see the difference? So here, if I draw the amplitude, it will be like that. Means after each cycle, it will decrease linearly by, I don't know, 0 .4. 8 cycles is 0 0.4, so each cycle, it decrease a bit. There's a difference, oh? Okay, so this is exponential. 
decay of amplitude. This is what we call a linear decay of amplitude, which is not correct. So how do we explain that? So we can say, mm, amplitude decreases amplitude. Ah, that's more correct. Amplitude decreases exponentially. That's the word you want to use. Exponentially. Or non-linear. La. Okay, la, non-linear. Which they, they, they propose is negative 0 0.4 each time you decrease. No, 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 no. That is, that's linear. Non-linear. So, it will not be 0 0.7 cm. Sure. After 8 oscillations. La. So your two marks here will be um, state and explain, right? So two marks all. You state it will not be 0 0.7. That's your state part. So that will be your A1. But you need to explain. So in order to get that A1, you have to say, oh, and decrease exponentially oh, or non-linear. Ah. So this is your method mark. Okay, so careful. What of this part? I think that's the end of this question. Okay.